dare I say, the clinic. I went to the clinic and it was just Hey love tights, welcome back to my channel. I am here to tell you a little bit about myself in more detail. How I'm gonna do that over time is gonna be up to you on what you request. Today, I'm gonna to give you a story time. I'm gonna give you a little bit of situations from, I would say my early 20s, when I first left college and I experienced my first STD. Now, this was 2007. I was probably 23 years old. Wow. And I was, you know, just broken up with a boyfriend and I was definitely, 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 definitely over him. But I felt the need to just go out and just meet random guys and have random sex and do all these fool -a la things that, oh, as you can see, you know, sometimes this could be me. Even though, you can you read this? It might be read the wrong way, but when you slap somebody with this, it reads out slut. No, no. Mm. <laughs> so you slap them hard enough on the ass, they'll become your slut. <laughs> anyway, I will tell you this. I had a good time in 2007, just fool la la and lollygagging, out there just having a good old time, wild sex, all that good stuff. But it did not come without its consequences. When I tell you, child, I came out with the clap, or no, I'm wrong, I'm wrong now, because I learned recently that the clap means gonorrhea, but I didn't have that, I had chlamydia, which I thought was a clap for a long time. I don't know why I thought that, maybe because of the, the C's and everything, but that's what I thought. <sighs> so get into this tea real quick about how I got it. So I went and met this guy randomly in downtown Miami, and we were just, you know, talking or whatever. And he wanted to have sex. He wanted to just do all these things. So I topped him and we didn't use protection. And next thing you know, two days later, I started like discharging some white stuff out of my pee hole. It was like so nasty. And I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on with me? So instead of me going to a regular doctor, I was scared because, you know, I have a family doctor and all that kind of stuff. And I don't want them to be telling my mom or my grandparents, anything like that. So I went ahead and I went to the, dare I say, the clinic. I went to the clinic and it was just like so many people. And I don't even like people like that. But I was around them and they were like like around me and it was just like so disgusting. They were like poor people too. Oh my gosh. So disgusting because, and they were dirty and some were homeless. And I took my friend with me because I wanted some more support and we got tested. Not only to find out that I was positive. And I, oh, for chlamydia. And all I can say is I took the antibiotic, no, the, I think it's some antibacterial stuff. They give you like pills to take. There are certain STDs you gotta get an injection in your ass, which that's a whole nother story because I've had that too. And when I tell you, I was just disgusted. I left there feeling like nasty, feeling like I don't wanna ever go back there again. And my friend, he was just like, Taekwon, Taekwon, it'll be okay. I was like, no, it won't, it won't be okay. I cannot live this again. But I was 23 years old and needless to say, I never learned my lesson. I will tell you that. So that wraps up that situation. And I will tell you more on the next video. Thanks Love Tides for watching. Have a good one. Thank you for your services. Oh,